Calcium plaque is the deposition of calcium on the walls of your arteries. This can affect any artery in your body, including your coronary arteries that supply your heart. Over time, these calcium deposits make your arteries harder and narrower, which is known as atherosclerosis. When calcium plaques are formed inside your coronary arteries, this is known as coronary artery calcification. This condition affects 50% of those of the age of 50 and above. The problem here is that calcium plaque can lead to severe health complications. For instance, it can cause coronary artery disease where this narrowing of the coronary arteries decreases the blood reaching the heart muscle. Symptoms will usually appear as sharp chest pain. Moreover, if the plaque completely blocks the coronary arteries, it can lead to a heart attack. However, your heart isn't the only organ at risk. If calcium precipitates in an artery supplying your brain, it can lead to a brain stroke. As you can see, calcium plaques are extremely dangerous. This is why in this video, we will reveal to you the top seven vitamins to clear calcium plaque from your arteries and heart. Now, without any further ado, let's get to it. Number one, menaquinone. Menaquinone is another name for vitamin K2. This vitamin can clear pre-existing calcium plaques and prevent the formation of new ones. Menaquinone helps activate matrix GLA protein. Matrix GLA protein holds onto calcium ions in blood, so it prevents their precipitation on arterial walls. In addition to that, vitamin K activates osteocalcin. Osteocalcin is a protein that helps in building your bones. It aids in the participation of calcium in your bones. So it decreases calcium levels in the blood and the likelihood of calcium depositing on the walls of your arteries. Osteocalcin requires vitamin K to be activated. Without it, it can't function. Furthermore, calcium can be deposited on the walls of your arteries due to prolonged inflammation. Thanks to its anti-inflammatory properties, menaquinone can decrease inflammation in walls of arteries, so it reduces calcium precipitation. An experiment was done where 4,807 individuals aged 55 years or above were given menaquinone supplements in their diet. It was found that they experienced a 52% reduced risk of severe aortic calcification and a 41% reduced risk of coronary heart disease. Menaquinone can be found in turnip greens, broccoli, carrot juice, and blueberries. Number two, vitamin E. Vitamin E is known for its potent antioxidant properties, which come in handy when fighting calcium plaques. Antioxidant means that vitamin E can neutralize free radicals. These are harmful compounds that are produced as a byproduct from chemical reactions in all your body cells. They accumulate inside your cells and damage the cellular structures. On the surface of your arterial walls, free radicals cause prolonged inflammation. The problem with inflammation is that it damages the smooth lining of your blood vessels and makes it rougher, causing calcium to precipitate on them. You can add vitamin E to your diet by eating more foods such as almonds, peanut butter, and red bell peppers. Number 3. Ascorbic Acid Ascorbic acid is the chemical name for vitamin C. Ascorbic acid can do wonders for your heart health. Like vitamin E, Ascorbic acid is also a powerful antioxidant, so it prevents damage due to free radicals. But that's not the only mechanism ascorbic acid combats calcium plaques with. If your blood vessels have a smooth lining, it's harder for calcium ions in your blood to stick to them. Ascorbic acid works by boosting collagen synthesis in your blood vessels. Collagen ensures that the structural composition of your blood vessels, walls remain intact, diminishing the chances of plaque formation. Adding to that, ascorbic acid prevents the oxidation of LDL cholesterol. LDL cholesterol enters your damaged blood vessels walls and causes an inflammatory reaction. This facilitates the formation of plaque. Moreover, white blood cells called macrophages enter the blood vessels and eat the LDL cholesterol in an attempt to remove them. However, this attempt fails and these cells die. When they die, they release the calcium that was inside them, further facilitating calcium plaque formation. 
Research indicates that individuals with high levels of oxidized LDL have a 1.5 to 3 times higher chance of developing atherosclerotic plaques. However, if you add high amounts of vitamin C to your diet, you can reduce the risk of coronary artery calcification by 10 to 15 percent. You can find vitamin C in almost all fresh fruits and vegetables. Some of the most famous vitamin C-containing foods are oranges, lemons, and grapefruit. Number 4. Vitamin D3 Vitamin D3 can help control calcium levels in your blood by preventing the release of parathyroid hormone. Parathyroid hormone is a hormone that causes calcium to move from your bones to your blood. Higher levels of calcium in the blood are associated with a higher risk of calcium plaque formation. By lowering the levels of parathyroid hormone, vitamin D3 prevents the increase of calcium blood levels. You can obtain vitamin D3 from fatty fish like salmon and mackerel and fish liver oils. However, these aren't the only ways to get vitamin D3. By just being exposed to sunlight, your skin is capable of producing vitamin D3. Before we continue, if you have been enjoying the video so far, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss more videos like this. Number 5. Magnesium Magnesium has a significant role in preventing the formation of calcium plaques. For starters, magnesium prevents vascular smooth muscle cells in your blood vessels walls from becoming bone-forming cells. And as we all know, bone is made up of calcium. By preventing this transformation, magnesium can lower the risk of calcium plaque formation and atherosclerosis. Not to mention, magnesium enhances the functions of vitamin D in regulating calcium levels. In animal experiments, magnesium was shown to decrease the calcification of blood vessels by 30 to 50 percent. You can obtain magnesium through supplements or via foods like leafy greens, whole grains, and nuts and seeds. Number 6. Omega-3 Fatty Acids Studies have proved that the omega-3 fatty acids EPA and DHA can efficiently decrease the severity of atherosclerosis. Omega-3 fatty acids can lower blood vessel inflammation by decreasing the production of cytokines. Cytokines are molecules that are vital in the inflammation process. This makes omega-3 fatty acids potent anti-inflammatory molecules. In addition to that, Omega-3 fatty acids decrease the levels of triglyceride and LDL cholesterol. Additionally, omega-3 fatty acids have antithrombotic effects, which means they prevent the formation of blood clots on top of the calcium plaques, which decreases the chances of the complete occlusion of the blood vessel. In a study conducted in Japan, participants who had high cholesterol blood levels were given 1.8 grams of EPA per day. It was found that these individuals experienced a 19% decrease in harmful changes in coronary arteries, including plaque formation. Omega-3 fatty acids can be obtained from fatty fish, such as salmon, mackerel, and sardines. It can also be found in walnuts or taken as supplements. Number 7. Coenzyme Q10 Another name for coenzyme Q10 is ubiquinone. It helps clear calcium plaques via its potent antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties. This neutralizes free radicals and prevents lipid oxidation. Furthermore, coenzyme Q10 is used by the cells for energy production. Increasing the energy of your blood vessel cells improves their function and makes them more resistant to plaques. Research showed that coenzyme Q10 can decrease the damage done by free radicals by 50%. Coenzyme Q10 is naturally found in foods such as fatty fish like salmon and mackerel, organ meats like liver and heart, whole grains, nuts, and seeds. It can also be found in the form of supplements. So these were the top seven vitamins to clear calcium plaque from your arteries and heart. It's recommended you add them to your diet, especially if the risk factors for calcium plaque formation apply to you. These risk factors include old age, family history, obesity, kidney diseases, and high alcohol consumption. Males also have a higher risk of developing calcium plaques than females. However, 
the risk for females increases significantly after they reach menopause. Now we want to hear from you. Have you tried adding any of these vitamins to your diet yet? If you did, did you notice any improvements in your vascular health? Share with us your experiences and opinions in the comments below. We'd love to hear them. Thanks for watching.